Welcome back. This is Danberg SC, and it is time for another Let's Play of Dead Spice 3. Now this game, uh, I'm going to do without a camera because it's so damn scenic, and I love it. And unfortunately, we don't have the ability to play Dead Space 2 on my computer currently, but we're trying to amend that. So let us get right in to Dead Space numero 3. Officer at Waystation Romeo. They began reacting to bright lights, retreating to the dark corner. They were my friends and colleagues not so long ago. Turn it off. Hey, Isaac! Turn it Isaac? off. Isaac? Carla, what's going on? Hey! The markers have to be stopped. And all the clues lead here. means they're everywhere. Get a weapon for everyone. It's happening again. Everyone's dying around me. We're the only hope for saving our entire race. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. So we are going to start, and um, we oh jeez, uh, we just tested out the um, just a little bit. We just tested out the um, the volume of everything because it was super loud when I first started playing. Okay, but we're gonna do no no camera on this because we I want it to stay very scenic and I want it to be awesome. We're going to do. Solo Campagan. New Game. And we're gonna do on hard. I know um, the game probably recommends silver. Silver. Normal. But uh, we're gonna do it on hard mode because uh, I'm a veteran Dead Space player. It all started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr and unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine. And their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Marker disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark.
That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift. A mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by Earthgar. His mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis Seven. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone, somehow, stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. All right, let's get into this. Alright. Here we go. Huh? That's what I mean. This game is. There's no, like, HUD. It's just you and this world. It's so immersive, and I wanted to keep that that way, so I'm not gonna do. I wanted to stay very immersive. And this snow is deep. What a crappy planet to be on. I like this because I don't really remember Dead Space 3. It did a good job of showing what's going to kind of happen in the game in the interview, in the uh, intro. And then it did a good job summarizing Dead Space 1 and 2. But I don't know what. I don't really remember this game. All I remember is that there's a lot of, like, weapons building. Am I going the right way? Yeah, there's a lot of weapons building. Oh, here we go. Run. This isn't our man Isaac. I don't know who this guy is. But he's got googly eyes. That's a cool mountain. It's like a Dr. Seuss... Alright, so I gotta try to find a way in. Give me all the tips. Oh, yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh, I gotta reload. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh! Jesus. All 
right, starting off. Get the legs! Get the legs! Alright, get the legs! Jesus! cylinder about half a meter two feet all right um we have to be conservative with ammo here oh i can duck i didn't know that okay well here we go oh kind of flipped away try to get some ammo Take a little pot shots at him. All right. All right. That's what we got. Over. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Ah! Ah! Oh damn it! Ah! Take that! All right. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage, but we got ammo. That is unpleasant, to say the least. Do I have any crap in here? No, we don't. Let's make sure we're looking around, getting everything we need. Oh, God! Do we have any ammo? Okay, we've got a bunch of ammo. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, that was loud as hell. I apologize for that. Oh, what is this? I don't want to go up the ladder. I don't remember this. Oh, Christ. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Dead Space. Alright. Uh, let's open that up. Alright, there it is. Cylinder. Codex. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Don't drop it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah! Alright, run. Go. Epic. 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 Oh, Jesus. Epic. Oh god, I'm going to die! Oh god. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Bro oh boy! Oh god, that's not good. Oh, Jesus! Roll out of the way! Easy girl, easy girl. Jesus. Ugh. Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahan, sir. Where's Dr. Sorrell? Earl Sorrell. He said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. You do. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. Oh, God.
Hope that wasn't important. And the game crashed. I guess that's where we will try to start from next episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.